everybody and welcome back to All Things Nail. Let's get into tonight's episode of Black Ink Crew, Season 6, Episode 8, The Return of O-ish. I'm trying to stop cussing, so y'all know how to use those special words. But anyway, so we started out with Teddy had to call and contact Caesar and tell him what happened with Alex and they going on about how the cops really targeted him and messing with him. And I told y'all the last episode that them cops went out to get him messing with him and targeting him. He just wasn't handling his business. Sure enough, that's what it was. When Caesar got over there, basically the boy wasn't paying his fines. He had the money to pay him. He just wasn't paying him. And like one of them was $10. One of them was like $40. He just, and he had a whole bunch of them. For years and years and years, he had just been ducking and dodging and not paying him. But anyway, then Caesar had got him up <laughs> early in the morning, like at 8 o'clock. Got him down to the shop. Had him cleaning windows. Wax on. Wax off. Wax on. Wax off. Like he was the karate kid. and He was Mr. Miyagi. So, Caesar said, okay, you want to mess up? Okay. I'm going to help you build some substance. <laughs> he should have did like on that movie, Holes, man, and go dig dig some holes. Y'all remember that? Y'all kids ever watched that movie? That was my kids' favorite movie when they was in school. Holes, you got to go dig them holes. <laughs> he didn't act the right thing. He had to go dig some holes. But anyway, now Jade is going to get this little bright idea since her roommate left her and went to Cali. That she gonna have Donna be her roommate, honey. Her and Donna gonna be fighting. They gonna become enemies because Donna is not no roommate. We done seen on all the other seasons she been roommates with half the cast, the old cast. She a horrible roommate, so that ain't gonna work. They gonna be fighting and scuffling. So anyway, keep in mind now, Donna has a boyfriend. Why she hit hitting on um Jada? She know at the gate that Walt already like this like like her. See, this is what I'm saying. This is what Donna do. She done she she does this to everybody. She tries to mess with and hit on and date everybody. Okay, she done mess with everybody down the Dutch. She done tried to mess with Kitty because she knew Caesar was was messing with her. She done mess with. I think it was Alex, the girl Alex, not the boy Alex when she first got there. It don't matter. She done tried to mess with everybody from Sky to and slept with every guy in the shop but Caesar. I think that's right. I don't think he messed with Donna. But yeah, she's just nasty. But anyway, Walt finally did decide he better go and move in on Jada because Donna trying her best to uh get with her. So he invites her out and they go to the little erotic spoken poem thing. And his little poem and everything was cute. And it was a fun day. I like that he the kind of dude that makes you feel pretty. You know, like when you go out, you feel all in love. You want to hold hands. And when you're sitting down, you kind of want to lean into him. Even though you're just dating, you want to call him your man. And make it official. Walt is that kind of person. And I think she really enjoyed it. Put on that bike and that mini dress. Walt, you don't put no woman on no bike and no mini skirt. That's a horse and buggy ride outfit. But it was cute though. They had fun. He rolled off with <laughs> with a uh, like he was alfalfa. Ooh, excuse me, I'm so tired. He rolled off with <laughs> <laughs> with Jada on the back of that bike, just as happy like he was alfalfa and that was Darla. Po Jada was on the back of that bike, just stuck out stiff like a blow, <laughs> blow up doll because her dress was too little. <laughs> but anyway, then when, um, uh, Teddy trying to talk to Jada, they just disrespectful. Remember, if y'all go back and look at my old videos, remember I told y'all. There's no loyalty within the shop. This is what I'm talking about. It's just no loyalty. They just discussing to me like, you know somebody in the shop like, like somebody, then why you going to keep hitting on them 
over and continuously and whatnot. Leave, leave them, have some respect. If not for yourself, at least for your friends. I mean, come on now. But anyway, Caesar go hang out with his daughter and baby mama was there. They playing mini golf and I thought it was real deep when he was talking to his daughter about being bullied because of her size. And he is good with his little talking and his little pep talks. It pep, pep talks, it went real good. He gave her a good little pep talk and he had her laughing in the end. And like and what he said was true though. His the bullies uh, be still sitting over there in jail while she'll be off being somebody doing something with herself. So don't let them get at you. Try to learn and just get over it because it'll all be over with as soon as you get out of high school and you won't even have to be worried about it. So, you know, I hope everything go well for her and, you know, and she'll be out of school soon. But, Excuse me. I keep you on. I do feel like as parents, they do need to go to the school and Caesar need to go too. And um, they need to sit down and talk to somebody about her being bullied. At least try so it's documented and know that look, the parents been up here, and it's still going on. Like, what can we do to stop it? Then, so Donna go on and move in with Jada. Donna ain't even been there five minutes and smoking and already peed in the flow. See, this ain't gonna last long because Jada gonna come home from work or come home from somewhere and that dog gonna either on eight of her good shoes or either on peed and pooped all over that apartment already. Because see, that's what that was the icing on the cake for her own roommate. That dog peeing and pooping everywhere. That's why the cat jumped on the dog, beat the dog butt for peeing and pooping. But anyway. Um, let's see what else happened. Oh, Sky, um, Sky busted up in that party with that cat woman suit on. She was wearing that suit, honey. She was snatched. Break, but she bought in this new manager named Tatiana. Before she even brought Tatiana in there, she should have told Tatiana what, what the party was about and what the party was for. She had that girl coming in there like she was bad to the bone. And she was the boss. And you already know how disrespectful she was to Melanie. Do you think she's about to be respectful to they was about to be respectful to um Tatiana? So anyway, they all sitting back there on the little tattoo table. They been grinding real hard, putting putting it in, putting in work, raising money for Bay to go to uh Korea to sit by her mama. This little New new come gonna come busting up in there talking y'all need to be making money. If you can't make money, I can bring somebody here that can don't bring her in there hyped up like that and get this lady beat up. You see, young Bay was already in a bad mood and grabbed and hemmed up and whooped on the head. And she bold to come walking up in the shop like that anyway, full of strangers. And see, Bay already stressed out about that situation with her mama. Somebody should have told him. And she should have been in I'm sorry, I've been eating popcorn while I watch TV. Sitting in there asking questions, you know, about what was going on instead of just busting up in there demanding stuff of people. But anyway, I am glad that they did sit there after the fight and talk to each other. They sat out like two women and talked and Sky quick, I mean, Bay quickly got her together with what she was doing or whatnot. But anyway, it was funny when <laughs> Sky was in there talking about, I'm hard to scare to the Grim Reaper. Then he said, oh, really? And snatched that hood off. <laughs> she was about to freak Richard. So we can call him Richard now. See, when he was with Nikki, Nikki said he, you had to call him by his government name. You was not allowed to call him O-ish. You had to call him Richard. But now that Nikki is gone, he said that Nikki's out in Cali still talking about she needed for space because he had followed her to Cali. Cali. But now they ain't kicking it no more. I could have sworn a couple of weeks ago, what about 
four weeks ago, I seen four, two, three. Yeah, about four weeks ago, maybe six, I see him and Nikki on IG posing on a red carpet somewhere. Don't hold me to that because I see a lot of things online and I can't remember what I seen. But anyway, so they got him back. I missed him because he bought he that's he is like the missing thing from the shop. And now that we got him back, everything can be on track and together. So but yeah, he it was over with between him and Nikki. That is all for this show and review. I thank you guys for watching and I will see you in another. Be sure to like and subscribe, comment, and most of all share. And I appreciate you. Thank you.